Okay, what is up everybody? Hello and welcome. How are you doing? DSP here live on the stream. Today is December 2nd, 2016. It is a Friday. Today is uh, a day where I will be streaming again for the fourth day in a row, Final Fantasy 15. Okay, so here's the deal. At this point in the game, I'm now over 15 hours into it. The good news is we are finally past all of the content that was shown in the episode Duskai demo. Including the freaking, uh, you know, the Rama summon, the behemoth hunting mission, the cave that you'll go into with all the imps in it. I've now done all of that stuff and have passed it. So that's a good thing because it means that everything that we're going to see moving forward is going to be brand new. Okay. In addition, yesterday in that third day of playing, there was a lot of progress. I tried to focus as much on the story as I could. And ended up getting, doing this giant titan fight, which was really awesome. And getting uh, multiple creature summons and stuff like that. And doing different dungeons and boss fights. And even though I did get my ass handed to me a couple times in the combat. Overall, it was pretty enjoyable of an experience, okay? <sighs> so, I'm excited to move forward now into new areas and new places, right? Totally new stuff. That's always a good thing. Um... Here's the deal when it comes to streaming, and then I'll give you an update in regards to emotes and stuff for people who are new subs, because uh, I have gotten a lot more subs over the past day, which is awesome, okay? So first off, in regards to live streaming, I very much have been enjoying uh, the live streams this week, okay? And uh, the bottom line is this, I, I, I like the game, and I like streaming this game. Okay, but I got to put my foot down, all right, and I said earlier this week that if I could get a decent amount of people on every single stream, then I would continue to stream this game. I said once it trailed off, I would stop. Now, what happens with r r RPGs and long drawn out games, especially when you live stream them, is that there's less and less people who are actually caught up on your the playthrough to the point where I am, all right? So I know that. I'm fully aware that there's tons of people who maybe have only watched a few hours of my playthrough. So for them to jump in and to watch this live stream wouldn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? What's the point of watching a live stream when it's 10, 15 hours ahead of what you've, you've watched already? You're basically just going to spoil the game for yourself. Okay. So that being said, I'm, I know for a fact that attendance is going to drop off. I just know it. Okay. It's going to drop off. There's nothing that can be done about it. Uh, it's gonna happen. It's a natural occurrence. Um, <clears throat> so, the rule of thumb that I've been using is 400. If I could get 400 viewers on the stream, then I will continue to stream Final Fantasy 15. If we can't get 400 viewers today, then that's gonna be it. I'll continue to play it, but it won't be live streamed. It'll just be an offline gameplay that I will upload to DSP Gaming every single day. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, that's kind of the, the rough agreement we have here. Now, I see we do have a lot of people chatting it up. People are really enjoying the Twitch interaction experience, and I, I understand that. But I did say that I was going to reduce the amount that I streamed in order to try to get people to go to DSP Gaming and watch my videos more. And the bottom line is this week, it was been the exact opposite of that. I streamed way more than I usually do. And because of that, I honestly think that the YouTube videos are suffering. If you take a look... The first session of videos that I did on Tuesday did all right. They didn't do great, but they did all right. And after that, pretty much no one's been watching the videos, or at least it's only just a couple hundred people. Uh, and that's not good, especially for a game like Final Fantasy XV, a playthrough that people are saying can last up to 50 hours long if you do so a lot of the side content and stuff. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, that I'm going to be playing this incredibly long game and no one's going to care, you know? And, yes, I do like the game, and I do want to continue to play it and beat it. Um, and I am going to, but it seems that maybe the streaming is taking away from that. I don't know, all right? But let me, let me counter that with something, all right? Let me counter that. I, the streaming that I've been doing for the past couple of days has been profitable. And what I mean by that is people are subbing, people are using bits to cheer, people are using Twitch Prime to sub, and because of that, every day I've gotten a significant amount of new subs and cheers, and it's added up, and it looks like I'm actually making some decent money here on Twitch. Now, that's good, and it does help to offset the fact that the viewership on YouTube isn't so great, but, 
that's only the short term. And what I mean by that is, yeah, right now people are really excited because I'm back on Twitch and I'm streaming, right? But how long is that going to last? There's only going to be a certain amount of people probably who are going to sub and a certain group of people who are going to continuously use bits. You know what I mean? Um, and I know it's going to it's gonna dry up eventually. Now, right now, luckily, it's not. Every day, people are still coming out. People are still watching the stream, still subbing, you know. So in that regard, I'm pleased. And if I can keep that going, that's great. But I don't know how long it's going to, to last. You know what I mean? What I think will happen inevitably is kind of what happens on YouTube when I was streaming. Where when there's a new game, everyone comes out and watches the new game for a day or two, right? Oh, new game hype. We want to see the new game. New game. So everyone comes out, the stream will have good numbers. We'll have new subs. We'll have people using bits and all that. But then it's going to dry out after a couple days. I really do get the feeling that's what's going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> so we got to play it by ear and we got to see. All right, we got to see what happens. Um, we'll take it from... We'll just basically take it from uh, a perspective of wait and see. Because I haven't streamed on, on Twitch in over two years. And for me, this is totally new. I don't know what's going to happen. All right? I just don't. So, what we're going to do is, like I said, today we're streaming. Three and a half hours of gameplay of Final Fantasy XV. We'll see how it goes. If I can get the 400 viewers that I have uh, been getting all along, then great. I will continue to stream this game. If not, then I'm going to play it offline, so that way, hopefully, people who are following the playthrough will go to YouTube and watch. All right? Now, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm streaming regardless. If you're not aware, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to be streaming Pokemon Moon. <clears throat> okay? So, Pokemon Moon, I'm very excited for because I have been playing this game and liking it a ton. And I have not played it since Sunday. It's been all week I've been doing Final Fantasy XV. I have not had a chance to touch Pokemon Moon. So I'm very excited to go back to it. And it'll be the first time that I'm actually streaming Pokemon here on Twitch. Okay. Um, so I'm curious to see how many people can we get to come out to watch Pokemon Moon. That's another one. Hey, if people come out and they're really enjoying the streams of Pokemon, then I will continue to do them. If not, then I won't. You know what I mean? It's 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 one or the other. It's directly dependent on how many people show up. It's just cause and effect, and uh, that's the deal. All right. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to Pokemon Moon tomorrow. <clears throat> and then we'll see on Sunday. Am I going to stream on Sunday or not? It'll be all dependent on what happens today with today's stream. Okay. Um, this Tuesday, new releases. This Tuesday, we've got both The Last Guardian and Dead Rising Four. Now. I'm not sure which game people are more interested in. I am going to stream both of those on Tuesday. I'm going to have two gameplay streams on Tuesday. One of one game and one of the other. So what I may do is I may do an overnight poll on Twitter. Monday night to determine which game people are more interested in. And whatever one wins the poll, I'll do on first stream here. And whatever doesn't win, I'll do on second stream. And then all next week, I'll be balancing those two games. So yeah, all next week, new gameplay footage and streams right here on Twitch and also on YouTube. So that'll be good. The it's really the final two major releases of this year besides The Walking Dead Season 3, which is coming out on December 20th. That's like the final new release of the year. So. That's really it. That's really all I have to say. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my little plugs segment, and then I'm going to do the shoutouts, because we had some new people who subbed this morning and uh, have been using Bits to Cheer. I'll give you your shoutouts. And then we'll start back up with Final Fantasy XV, okay? And by the way, as you can hear, you can now hear the PS4 dashboard, so the audio issues from yesterday should not happen again. Um, but again, I'm using a workaround to fix it. My OBS software apparently just doesn't work properly anymore. I don't know what happened. Maybe something corrupted in it, but I don't. the thing is, I don't want to fucking like, delete it and reinstall it because it took me so long to set everything back up in it as it is. And I'm nervous that I'm going to have to freaking do more work again i just can't i can't keep doing this it takes like an hour or more to set up everything so oh one final thing before we go into the plugs dsp tries it returns today those who aren't uh who aren't aware yes dsp tries it returns today i haven't done an episode of dsp tries it in like three weeks or a month actually uh that'll be going live on the king of hate vlogs later today actually right after this stream ends i'm going to edit the video and release it okay so that should be good that should be exciting Hope that you'll check that out. Blah. Excuse me. If you can't tell, I'm drinking seltzer water. All right, so here we go. First off, everyone, I want to say thank you very much 
for being here. Thank you for your support this week on my return to Twitch. I'm very appreciative of it. Outside of subbing and outside of using bits to cheer and all that kind of stuff that you could do during the streams, there are many other ways that you can help support myself and my business. First off is Loot Crate at lootcrate.com forward slash darksidephil. If you use that, that code, that, that uh, link, and then you order any new Loot Crate subscription, okay, at checkout, if you use the discount code SAVEME10DSP, that's SAVEME10DSP, you could save 10% on any subscription, and I get some referral credit from that, okay? So if you're interested in some, a unique gift or something, maybe even something for yourself uh, in a Loot Crate subscription, check it out. Now, I'll actually be getting the WWE Slam Crate, I believe next week it's arriving, and I'll be unboxing that on my vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs. So if you're interested in that crate, I'll be able to show you what's in it coming next week. Okay? All right. Also, Twitter, at they call me DSP. Follow me on Twitter. That's the end-all, be-all way that you can communicate with me and get the skinny on what I'm doing every single day. Twitter is where I post up my daily uh, schedule. So you know, gee, is Phil streaming tomorrow? What is he streaming? When is he streaming? That's going to tell you everything. So please go check it out, at they call me DSP. Please follow me. Okay? Uh, KO Gaming. This is my YouTube channel where I do edited content such as game reviews. Um, man, I just screwed that up. Montages, countdowns, that kind of stuff. And coming up, my year-end series are going to be out by the end of this month. I'm going to start my year-end series, including the funniest moments of the year countdown, which you're going to be voting on on my kingofhate.com forums. There's also the uh, most disappointing games of 2016. And then, of course, the Game of the Year Awards. So there's a lot coming up this year. I may actually do some things a little differently as well. I may do the best games of each genre. I've been thinking of doing that. Like, what's the best first-person shooter of the year? What's the best uh, RPG of the year? What's the best action-based game of the year? I could do that, I think. And maybe I should do that. Maybe, like, honorable mentions and then give you my picks for the best. I may do something different for KO Gaming this year to make it a little bit more refreshed and feel like it's new rather than just the same old, same old series, okay? <clears throat> so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And looking forward to that. Please check it out. YouTube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. Uh, Patreon. Quick Patreon update for those who pledged in the month of November. We hit the funding goal. We're definitely doing the multiplayer event right after Christmas and then in early January. If you pledge and you're, you know, gee, how do I get my perks? What's going on with that? I'm going to message everyone Sunday night, okay? So give it a couple days here because there's a few people whose pledges did not go through and they actually are updating their info <clears throat> so their pledges can recharge and go through. And about like 10 people, that already happened. So that's great. Um, once all that's done, which I'm assuming will be around Sunday night, and then I'm going to message everyone on Patreon, and you should get messages on how to proceed to get your perks. All right? Fair enough. Um, there you go. Uh, what else? Um, well, this month, I'm going to set up a goal for Patreon, a good, attractive one. I think I have an idea what it's going to be. Uh, but, excuse me. Oh, my God. I can't stop burping. This seltzer water is killing me. Um... I know what it's going to be, I think, but I haven't set anything up yet. And like no ex explanation or template or anything for it, but I'm going to do it soon. I think in particular, those who are watching my live streams are going to like this one. All right. Fair enough. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, my girlfriend, Leanna, owns her own business called The Black Current. She sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. On this, uh, in this business, she's been in operation for about a year and a half. She sold over 600 orders. In fact, I think she's almost up to 700 orders now. And she's got nothing but positive feedback. Don't take my word for it that this stuff is really great because I wash with it every day. Last night, I just washed with Kentish Rain when I took my shower. I love this stuff. But don't take my word for it. Check out the website yourself that you're seeing on your screen. Tons of positive customer feedback. All right? Okay. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you being patient for the pre-stream. Right after I stop recording, I'm going to do the shout-outs for today, and then we're going to get started with gameplay, okay? All right, thanks, everyone, and here we go. Uh, 